is looking a bit ashy, but trust the process, we're almost done. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel for another video if you're returning. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Tasha. If you click around and you like what you see here, then make sure that you click that subscribe button and stick around. So in today's video, I am going to be talking you guys through my simple everyday work makeup. Now this is for the girlies that have a really busy lives that literally need to do their makeup in 10 minutes max. Now I am a corporate girly myself. So this makeup is something that I do when I'm heading into the office and also something that I've mastered to be able to do it really quickly. Awesome. Okay, so first product, e.l.f. Let's prime. This is the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. with 4% niacinamide. Well, I would highly, highly recommend that you don't skip this step especially if you want your makeup to last all day i have two of these primers i have the original in the green and i have this pink one here with the four percent niacinamide i've seen a difference between the two this i feel like makes my makeup last a little bit longer than the green one and the niacinamide also has brightening properties so it really helps to even out the skin tone as well so it's not only a primer it's a nice little skincare product as well so we love so whilst it's dries I will go in with my soap brow from Revolution and I use this to lay my brows and I love it. my so once i've primed and i've done my eyebrows i will usually go in with foundation or concealer i have recently tried out the elf concealer just on its own and then putting powder on top and it works like a charm i am the shade oh, deep chestnut in the elf concealer but today i want something a little bit darker because this is lighter so this works for me during the winter months Whereas this one right here is sort of more my shade throughout the year. So this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This literally lasts from morning all the way to evening without cracking. And the trick to making this last all day without cracking is not putting a lot. If I'm going out at night, I'll tend to use a little bit more than one pump of the foundation because I want a more of a, a coverage but when I'm just going to work all I want is um, coverage under my eyes is the main one and the foundation that I use around here I'll just blend it downwards and then it will just evenly cover my face whereas if I'm going out I'll use a little bit more because I want that uh, airbrushed finish I think I even used a little bit too much. What it should be is just one pump. So to blend out my foundation, I love this brush. Again, I will pop up a picture of everything that I'm using. I just love this brush look at how effortlessly it just buffs the makeup into the skin as you can see here my skin still looks like my skin it doesn't look like I've put too much on it then just gives you that natural finish I will go in with my beauty blender I've been using the real techniques beauty blender for time and I can definitely vouch for how how well it makes your makeup go on simple And then I am going to go in with this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Walnut. But you can completely skip this step because you don't need it. I just want a little bit more of a brighter eye. So the days that I want to do that, I will go in with Walnut Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. Thank you. 
and I recently bought myself these triangle puffs and I think they're just the best Thing. because the triangle just makes a lot of sense especially when you're trying to apply it under your eye and then to set the makeup we're going with for the beauty it's looking a bit ashy but trust the process, we're almost there. And of course, if I do this without speaking or trying to explain, this is something that can easily be done in 10 minutes. Switching brushes. This is one of the brushes that I had opened and used from the new bunch. And I just love this brush. I think it makes the, the bronzer just glide effortlessly. And So because I'm using the same bronzer, what I, can, what I usually tend to do is when I'm using it on my eyeshadow, I will just bring it down so I can further contour the nose just real quick, real quick, just boom, done, done. And then I will take this shape of a brush just to tap the excess powder off. So mascara is on and let's oh I feel like there's something in my eye. There's something in my eye. Mascara is on. Let's put a lip on and wrap this up. We are officially done let's go in with a bit of setting spray from charlotte tilbury it's just a perfect all-round daytime nighttime setting spray and it's got super super good hold so if i'm carrying it in my makeup pouch i usually like to buy the 30 mil because it fits a little bit better in my makeup pouch i feel like this is a good size it fits in my gym bag perfectly and it fits all my makeup products brushes everything perfectly as well with a little bit of room to spare So this is the final look. It's quick, it's simple, and you look put together. When you walk through those office doors, they're not gonna know that you literally put in less than 15 minutes of work for this look. And then obviously the outfit is gonna make the entire look come together. The lack of additional strip lashes also adds to keeping the look um, feeling natural and just simple if you wanted to dress this up maybe you're going for after work drinks or maybe you're going to some sort of a party after work you could always um, apply some strip lashes on and it just takes this look to that next level so let me know how long your everyday makeup takes you and also what makeup products you love to use on a day-to-day -day basis i would love to know and i hope to see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye